Hello. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hi, hello, Jacqueline. How are you? Fine, thank and you. All right, great, excellent. Excellent. <laughs> That's good. Okay, how was the weekend? Wait, I am in party. Nice. <laughs> oh, yeah. Don't say how I said You were in a party. <laughs> huh? you, were, you were in a party all weekend. Yes, <laughs> all weekend. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> and, and we were working. Uh, we, we were working and you were having fun. Very nice dancing. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Excellent. No, that's good. It's good. It's good to not to have fun. Hello, Jorge. How are you doing Hi, today? Teacher. Uh, I'm okay. All right. A little bit tired, but okay. Yeah, because it's 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 Monday, right? And then uh, I don't know why on Mondays we we usually feel like um, I don't know, like tired. Right, it, I think it's because it's the first day of the of the week, maybe, probably. Okay. Hello, it is. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. Okay, no problem. Then we have the you. weekend. My friend, my best friend. Uh huh. No, no sé cómo se dice, se graduó de licenciada ya. Okay, she graduated. Okay, graduated. You know, she got a BA. Tiene su título, right? BA? Sí. All right. Uh, that's great. Okay. Estuvo grandioso. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's good. You know, graduating is, in these days, is, is, is great. It's nice. Okay, good. Well, uh, let's see. Now more people are coming in. It's good. Uh, Karen, Herman. Gabriela, Elizabeth, somebody else. Logged. Good evening. Hello, good evening, Karen. And we also have Ivan. Okay, while the others come in, we will share. Hey, what is the. Wait, wait a minute, people. This is a test. Now, this is the one that we have to share. Okay, okay now we're ready. Okay, this is where we stopped last. Um, that's Thursday, right? We we're talking about the imperatives. Okay, negative forms, uh, how to use positive and negative forms of imperatives. And then we watched this video. We're going to watch it again to refresh, to refresh our memory. Imperatives. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled Don't Work Too Hard. Let's listen and practice. Don't Work Too Hard. Hello, Ms. West. How are you today? Not so good. So, what's wrong exactly? I'm exhausted. Hmm. Why are you so tired? I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. Okay, let's take a look at you. 
I'm going to give you some pills. Take one pill every night after dinner. Okay. And don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Yes. Don't work too hard. All right. Thanks, Dr. Young. The conversation that we just heard illustrates the conversation between a doctor and a patient. Typically, whenever we are sick and we go to the doctor, we're going to receive instructions from the doctor so that we can get better. We use imperatives to give instructions. Imperatives: Take a pill every four hours. Rest in bed. Drink lots of juice. Don't work too hard. Don't stay up late. Don't drink soda. To form imperatives is very simple. Just add the verb. No subject is necessary. Then a complement. On the left-hand side of the chart, we can see positive imperatives. Let's analyze them. Take a pill every four hours. The verb is take. The complement is a pill every four hours. On the right-hand side of the chart, you can see negative imperatives. Don't work too hard. In this case, we're going to follow this next formula: don't plus verb plus complement. Don't work is the verb, and the complement too hard. Now, I would like for you to give some examples of your own. Think of the advice or instructions that you or your doctor gives whenever you have some kind of illness. For example, if you have a cold, take cough syrup. Don't drink cold drinks. After you finish this task, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, so then you remember how to do, oh, how to create a negative or positive imperative. Now I'll show you a page that I wrote. Okay, here there are some. Uh, this is what I was writing today for you to to help me complete. Okay, for example, we say we use imperative. Okay, we use the imperative, uh, right, in order to give okay, we use imperative to give commands, orders, instructions, etc. Right. And also, when you give instructions for cooking and stuff like that, then we use the base form of the verb, okay, the name verb, walk, open, sit down, stand up, listen, uh, write, copy. Okay, so this is the base form of the verb. No walks, no static, no present, no future, no. Only the base form, the original form of the verb. And then we don't use I, we, you, they, he, she, it, not. This is wait. Walk is directly to you. Okay. The imperative form is from the speaker, me, to the listener, you. Okay, if I say, for example, eh, eh, everybody, eh, turn off your camera. Okay, eh, turn off your cameras. What are you going to do? You're going to say, turn off your camera. Then write a parent camera. Okay, turn on camera. Then everybody. Pero, o sea, I am giving you the instructions. Yo le estoy dando la indicación a ustedes, right? De hacer algo, right? So then you say instruct. Okay, turn off your camera. Turn off. Now, if I say, for example, 
Jacqueline. Uh, then they say, Jacqueline, read. They say, please read the second sentence. Open your books and go to page six. Okay. And so go to page. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, okay, page 60. Okay, go to page 60. 60. Yes, that's correct. Okay, good. So you see, this is, but this instruction was given to Jacqueline directly, right? And then uh, that's the way you know, this uh, imperative works. Okay, now think of other. You didn't answer my question. ¿Qué otra relación podemos poner ahí? Think about another one. Just think about one verb. ¿Alguien diga un verbo? ¿Anybody? Sing my favorite song. Sing my favorite song. Okay, sing my favorite song. Okay, se supone que esta indicación ya quienes se la está dando alguien que sabe cuál es su canción favorita. Entonces le dice a esa persona, sing my favorite song, please. Then, please. Ajá, que la palabra más. <laughs> <laughs> Or a uh, play, puede ser also play my favorite my favorite song, okay? Toque, okay, ponga. Mi canción favorita, a un DJ de la radio, a una fiesta, right? A concert, play like your favorite song. Okay, so these are, you know, when you're giving some, depende como se diga, si le dice a alguien, play my favorite song, puede ser una orden. Como también puede ser pedirle como un favor, right? Play my favorite song, please. So when you say please, that changes, right? But uh, eh, sometimes a la gente le gusta romper y le dice, no, no lo voy a poner, que no hay que ah, Play my favorite song, okay? Póngala. Okay? Son las mismas connotaciones que tenemos en inglés y español ¿verdad? cuando usamos el imperativo. Good. ¿Vamos bien? Yes. yes. Okay. The second one is the word order of sentence in the imperative verb is. Aquí se pone primero el verbo, sin sujeto, y luego el objeto, right? Put the books on the table. Okay. Bring me my dinner. Traigame la cena, right? Uh, what else? Uh, turn off the TV, please. Okay. Apagame la televisión, por favor. Speak louder. Okay. Hable más alto, speak louder, speak lower, que hable más bajo. Eh, what else? Eh, stay, in the, stay in your house, okay, stay in your house. Don't go out, don't go out if it's not negative, in the negative. Eh, what else? Eh, clean your bedroom. Clean your bathroom, exactly, clean your bathroom. Eh, read a book. A los, a los hijos uno le dice, ah, sea, algo, algo bueno, read a book. Okay. Eh, do the homework, hacer las tareas, right? So these are things that we do. Then we have the negative. The negative imperative is made with do, not, or don't. Okay. Vean que no estamos usando doesn't, porque como les digo, es de, de mí para usted o de mí para ustedes. Okay, so then you say, for example, don't lose that cell phone. Es el último que te doy, okay? Don't lose that cell phone. Then you say, don't, uh, don't go back, okay? Don't go back there. No regreses ahí. Stay here. Don't go back. Con más énfasis, do not go back there. Si lo separan, se hace más, más fuerte la, el, la orden o or instruction, right? Okay, say do not, uh, do not speak Spanish in class. 
do not uh, do the whatever, right? This is emphasis. Uh, what else? Otra, otra forma negativa. Don't. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. Okay. No te hagas esto. Right? Yes. Fíjense que es como lo haríamos en español, que esa es la misma. Buscar esa entonación depende de lo que uno, cómo lo quiera decir, ¿verdad? Entonces, porque a veces uno dice, no, es eso, por favor, escuchame, right? So, then we do it. Y eso mismo en inglés, right? Y a veces solamente decimos, hey, no hagas eso. Then, don't do that. Depende cómo queramos decirlo, lo mismo hay que hacerlo en inglés, right? The same way. No problem. What else? Another one. Teacher, with the cover, oh. don't, don't stand so close to me. Don't? Don't stand so close to me. Perfect. Uh -huh. Muy buena oración. Okay, don't stand. Puede ser too close, demasiado. Too close. Puede ser too close to me. O puede ser, pongamos aquí, backslash. Eso. Ok, tú sería como too close, demasiado, so close, tan, tan cerca. ¿eh? Se puede ser demasiado o tan. Ahí, don't stand too close to me, don't stand so close to me. Ok, now, yes, we need to have some. Ok, that's one. Ok, ahí ya le van dando un uso, uh, digamos, a lo del día a día, right? What else? Don't jump on the bed. Don't jump on the bed. Don't do it. Don't jump on the bed. Okay, good. Uh, for children, right? They like to do the jumping on bed. But it's nice. Don't jump on the bed. Okay? Perfect. Okay, those, that's, then you can see, for example, these are all the negative forms. Now, Aquí vienen los usos, right? Orden, give an order. Stay there. Don't move. Go away. Es que estas pueden ser este, fuertes. La cuando dice go away es como retírese. Váyase. Ok, go away. Eh, stay there. Quédese ahí. Quédate ahí. Ok, sometimes we, le decimos a los niños, ¿no? stay, stay there. Don't move. Okay. Hey, stop that. Yeah, just parece. Okay. No more. Stop that. Así como decir, a veces hasta puede sonar como basta. Right? When say stop that. Okay. Hey, keep quiet. Okay. Keep quiet. Hey, no en silencio, pero también puede ser keep talking. Ok. Keep talking puede ser cuando usted, alguien le está diciendo, vaya, vamos a, quiero escucharlo como practica su inglés, ok. Dice un par de oraciones, sí, come on, keep talking. Sigue hablando, sigue hablando, keep talking. Ok. What else? Dígame una orden más, ok. Not smoking. Don't have no. Well, that would be the negative, correct? Don't smoke. Don't smoke here. Yes, that's correct. One more. Get out here. Get? Yes, get. Uh -huh. Out okay. here. Oh, perfect. Get out here. 
pues. Pobre gato para jugar a la manera. Okay, and then you say, or the little, the little dog too. Right? And then you say, stop here, get out here. Yes. Okay, good. Then we have instructions. Uh, don't drive too fast. Uh, si alguien va a pintar algo, dice, apply the paint thinly and leave it for 10 minutes. Okay, aplique una capa delgada de pintura, right? Okay, and, and that's it. All right. Uh, be careful. No, sorry, no, 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 no. Wash the onions. Si alguien va a cocinar. Wash the onions. Lave las zanahorias. Take, uh, chop the carrots. Okay, corte las zanahorias, right? Chop the carrots. Uh, peel. Peel the carrots. Pele las zanahorias, right? So these are instructions. Para una receta, right? Vamos a cocinar algo, vamos a hacer un jugo, por ejemplo. If you're going to do a, if you're going to prepare a cup of coffee, okay, they say put water in the cup, okay, put the cup in the in the oven or in the a microwave oven, then set the time, set the time to minutes. Okay, take out the water, put the coffee, the instant coffee, then put the sugar, pour the sugar, then stir and drink. You see only, only a verb to give instructions how to make a cup of coffee that is very difficult. Okay. Then what else? Alguien más quiere agregar otra oración? Can do it. Get inside. Get in, right? Come on, get inside, get in. Yes. That's another one. That's, that's like a command, right? Good. And the last one is, well, not the last one, but then we have this one, which is get advice or warning. To give advice is darle un consejo a alguien, right? O también, eh, advertirle de algo, right? Like, for example, don't forget to take your documents with you. Okay, no se perdona los documentos, right? Be careful, lo sea, es una como un warning. Ya que alguien está distraído, y debajo del palo de aguacate, y viene un aguacate para abajo, right? And say, be careful. Or crossing the street, be careful. Or okay, or anything. Take your umbrella. Puede sonar como una advertencia, right? De que play because it's going to rain or un consejo de que aquí siempre yo, right? And then we have the last one, which is have a cup of coffee. Uh, have a cup of tea. Okay, this is make an offer. Come on, have a cup of tea. Tome una taza de té. Have a piece of apple pie. Tome un, coma un pedazo de, de pastel de manzana, right? Have an apple pie, have a piece of apple pie. Come around and give me some time, okay? Come, venga a visitarme, right? So these are, for example, uh, offers, okay? My house is always there, okay? Open for my friends. All right. No questions, dudas, preguntas? Clear?
Okay, people. Then uh, that's uh, about the. That's about the um, imperative. Now we're going to go back to the platform and we are going to do the exercise in the knowledge check. Okay. Adding, could you please read the, the instructions here in the knowledge check exercise, please? Complete the sentences, use the words in the box. Okay, very good. Now read the words in the box, Karen. Call, stay, see, take, don't go, don't worry, don't drink, don't eat. Don't eat. Okay, so you see these are positive and negative uh, uh, imperatives, right? They say call, see, stay, take, don't go, and don't worry, don't drink, don't now, what is the first one? When you talk about a dentist, so you have, let me see, eight. Eight, and we have eight words. What is the number one? One volume. Mm -hmm. Which one? Call. The identity. Call or see? Mm. Call. You call the dentist? Hello, dentist. Yeah. Call a dentist. Dentist. Mm, okay. See, see a dentist. See a dentist. Tenemos decisión dividida, right? Call and see. ¿Cuál es más conveniente? Tienen un dolor de muela. Hay que ver dentist. Uh, see. See, right. See a dentist. See a dentist. Let's see. Son ambiguos algunos de estos, porque puede ser alguien que piense en llamar para hacer una cita, right? Then, uh, pero acá le say, see a dentist, es más. Eh, un consejo, right? Warning. Too. This one. Too much. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry too much. Yes. Okay. Don't. Too aspirin. Take. 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 The school. Don't go. Don't go. Don't go. In bed. Stay in bed. Don't, don't drink Stay in bed. Stay. Just a second, no bebiera. <laughs> yeah, makes sense. Can it some feel? But okay, they invest them according to this. Okay, good. The next one? Call a doctor. Call. Call a doctor. Call. Call a doctor. Okay, let's see. And number seven? Don't drink. 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 drink a lot of coffee. Okay, number eight. <laughs> Don't eat. Don't eat. Don't eat. eat. Don't eat. Don't eat. Okay. Don't eat any candy. Okay. Good. Almost. Let's submit and see what happens. And then we get. Oh my God. Let's call. ¿Cuál es el otro error entonces? See a doctor. See a doctor. See a dentist. Is the doctor and uh -huh. call uh -huh. again? Call, call, call. Very good. Okay, now they are correct. Okay. Pues sí, eh, es un ejercicio en el que esto está aquí en el ejercicio y como lo han hecho, pero it could be also dependiendo de una realidad. Okay. Eh, 
Okay, I will say call a dentist and make an appointment. Okay, llama dentista y hace una, uh, una cita, right? And the other one I will say also, okay, go and see a doctor. Okay, and then you can see that. All right, not too bad, not too bad. Okay, then you have the idea about this. Okay, now let me check. Hey, Juan Panameño, Juan, can you please read the objective here? By the end of this class, you will be read a discuss and attitude about how to improve your health. Additional the development skin in scanning and reading for my ideas. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. All right, so then here, eh, nuevamente tenemos las eh, reading skills, the abilities, right? The eh, abilities to read, aquello de hacer el escaneo y le encontrar las ideas principales. Eh, ¿Quién sabe cuál es el, el scanning? Estas, nosotros lo ocupamos mucho en español, estas eh, series, eh, reading strategies, son estrategias de lectura. Cuando hacen un examen de lectura, ¿qué, qué estrategia utilizan? Lectura rápida. Ajá. En un examen, por ejemplo, les ponen un párrafo ahí. Lectura de... comprensiva. Ajá. Pero digamos, si, va, si tienen 20 preguntas, un párrafo de 500 palabras y tienen 15 minutos para hacerlo. ¿Leen todo el párrafo? Como palabras claves. Casi. Uh -huh. Es claro, buscan las palabras claves en la pregunta y luego las palabras claves en el párrafo y hacen un escaneo, ¿vale? Right? Como una búsqueda. Entonces, eso es lo que hacemos a veces. Leemos la pregunta y decimos, okay, ya más o menos buscamos el, el punto del párrafo a donde se encuentra la posible respuesta y ahí buscamos la comprensión, ¿vale? Right? Para no leerlo todo, eh, a veces por el tiempo, ¿vale? Right? Entonces, es un scanning, es look for, como buscar, es como el escáner que le pasan a uno en los, en los, en los hospitales, right? Es el escáner hace una búsqueda de fallas en el cuerpo, then lo mismo según nosotros en la lectura, right? Scan, the vocabulary, possible answers. Por ejemplo, si cuando compran un billete de la lotería, si alguien lo compra y aparece la lista en el newspaper, que sea un scan, right? Se ve el número que tiene su billete, right? Y luego se va a la lista de números. No se detiene a buscar todo, a darles todos uno por uno. Se va buscando los dígitos parecidos al suyo. So that is the scan. Okay? So that's one of the strategies. And the other one is to find the principal, the main idea. Okay? ¿Cuál es el objetivo, right? el objeto de escribir algo? ¿Dónde está la idea principal? Okay. So that's the point here. And then we say, look at this one, 10. 10 simple ways to improve your health. Uh, listen. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll develop skills in scanning and reading for main ideas. By reading and discussing an article about how to improve your health. 10 Simple Ways to Improve Your Health Believe it or not, you can greatly improve your health in 10 simple ways. 1. Eat breakfast. Breakfast gives you energy for the morning. 2. Go for a walk. Walking is good exercise, and exercise is necessary for good health. 3. Floss your teeth. Don't just brush them. Flossing keeps your gums healthy. 4. Drink 8 cups of water every day. Water helps your body in many ways. 5. 
Stretch for five minutes. Stretching is important for your muscles. Six. Wear a seat belt. Every year, seat belts save thousands of lives. Seven. Do something to challenge your brain. For example, do a crossword puzzle or read a new book. Eight. Protect your skin. Use lots of moisturizer and sunscreen. Nine, get enough calcium. Your bones need it. Dairy foods like yogurt, milk, and cheese have calcium. Ten, take a time out, a break of about twenty minutes. Do something different. For example, get up and walk, or sit down and listen to music. Seven. Do some. Okay. Now tell me which are the ones that you consider are nice. What do you think about these ten simple ways to improve your health? Good, bad, so so. Good. Good, right? Yes. So we have, for example, you know, that eat breakfast, go for a walk, floss your teeth, okay, you know, with a floss, okay, before you brush them. Uh, drink eight cups of uh, water every day or more. Nowadays, they, the weather is very hot. A stretch for five minutes, okay, like you know, like oh, okay, you stretch your body, so it is good to you not know, to do it one or at least two, two, three times a day. A, wear a seat belt when you drive, okay, do something to challenge your brain, okay, keep your brain thinking. For example, what you are doing, the uh, study in English is. A, a nice way to keep your your body uh, your body uh, let's say active and uh, your, your your brain okay closing uh, for example when you're closing es el limpiarse con hilo dental y mantiene las gums son las encías right gums that they will keep uh, mantienen sanas if you, you clean them also with the floss Okay, then after that, you brush. So that's the recommendation that dentists do. Thank you. All right, what else? And then we have the um, protect your, your skin, get enough calcium. Okay, this is important. Después de cierta edad, también es más importante el calcio, right? Que vamos produciendo menos. I guess for the spring, they keep inside the vitamin and stuff like that to keep healthy. And take time out, a break of about 20 minutes, okay? During the day, it's good to stand up, sit down, depending on your job activities. Okay, but I think this one is also in the I think we have it here. Yes, here too. Okay, it is. Could you please read the first one? Eat breakfast. Breakfast gives you energy for the morning. Okay, very, thank you very much. Uh, Jacob, the number two. Okay, Jorge, can you please read number two? 
go for a walk, go for a walk. Walking is good exercise and exercise is necessary for health. Thank you very much. Juan, number three. Flow your teeth, down now your brush, then flossing keep your gum healthy. Healthy, okay, good. Thank you, Juan. Jose, Jose Lino. Number, okay, here, number four. <clears throat> Drink eight cups of water every day. Water helps helps your body in many ways. Very good, excellent. Okay, good. Uh, Herman, number five. <laughs> Um, stretch for five minutes. Strength in e power for you for your mus muscle. 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 Okay, good. Stretching is important for your muscle. Thank you, Herb. Cutting number six. Okay. Wear a seat bed. Every year, seat belt save thousand of life. Life, very good, right? You see, it's very important. Okay, this one save thousands of lives every year. Okay, now uh, proceed. Number, Number seven. Seven. Yes. Okay, do something to challenge your brain. For example, do a crossword puzzle or read a new book. Very good, nice, excellent. You want? See? Uh, read number eight. Protect your skin. Use a lot of moisturizer. Moisturizer and suns suns sunscreen. Thank you, Juan. Okay, Carlos, number nine. Carlos Cruz. Carlos, ¿me escucha? Yes, sir. Number nine. Get enough calcium. You don't need it. Very food like yogurt, milk, and cheese. Have calcium. Okay, so this is diary is is the uh, lactose, right? And you say you don't need a diary food like yogurt, milk, and cheese have calcium. So this is from your lactose. Diary. A diary. Diary. Okay. Hey, Johanna, number ten. Take a time out, a break of about 20 minutes, do something different. For example, get up and walk or sit down and listen to music. And listen to music. All right, very good. Now, questions about vocabulary? Alguna pregunta, alguna palabra que han visto que les llama la atención o que no? que sea muy nueva y que le gustaría aprenderla. ¿No? Eh, una estrategia de, para aprender vocabulario a veces es, es uno de muchas palabras. Ok, I'm back. El, bien, el viento me hizo así. Y el limón y sal. <risa> no es que me aventó, me sacó. Sí, tuve un, he tenido un bajón. Ahorita me tengo que conectar con el teléfono. Porque ya sabes qué pasó con él. <risa> ya estamos de nuevo. Me dejó hablando solo. Okay. Dije, se me fueron todos. Dije, ya, ya, ya. Pero sí, Ok, okay let's see. Estábamos en recreo, profe. Sí, ya vi, ya vi. Ya, ya empecé a ver que empezaban a tirar el borrador. Profe, pero yo pensé que yo era el del problema porque se quedó todo congelado. Sí, ajá. Entonces, pues, yo por eso también dije que pasó de repente, todos desaparecieron. 
pero creo que fue aquí. Okay. Then, eh, well, I was going to go back to the to the exercise so that we can see here, right? And it says here to get exercise. Okay, so then to get exercise, then we have to choose what well, the instruction said. Read the article, then complete the sentences, right? Okay, to get exercise, eat breakfast, protect your skin, go for a walk, stretch for five minutes. Go for a walk. Go for a walk. Walk for a walk, right? To help your bones, what do we need? Get, the get, calcium. Enough. get enough calcium. Get enough calcium, okay, here it is. And to help your muscles, stretch, stretch for five, five minutes. minutes. Stretch for five minutes. To keep your gums healthy. Floss your teeth. Floss your teeth. Floss your teeth. Floss, uh, floss your teeth. Right? Floss. To have energy for the morning. Eat breakfast. Eat breakfast. Okay. What about to challenge your brain? Do a crossword a new book. Yes, this is very, very important. Uh, I, I told you at the beginning that in your case is good because you are learning English. Learning English, learning another language, uh, that, you know, keep your brain busy. And if you read small books in, in English, also, is going to be a good exercise for your brain. Okay. Then let's see. All right, so you have a good memory. Okay, good retentive. All of them correct. Exercise, go for a walk, help your bones, get enough calcium, help your muscles, stretch for five minutes, uh, keep your gums healthy. Flush your teeth to have energy for the morning, eat breakfast, and to challenge your brain to cross for puzzles or read uh, cross for puzzles or read a new book. Okay. Let's see. Questions about vocabulary? Expressions? No? Okay, entonces, antes de... That's the end. Eh, luego les voy a mandar, voy a pasar a PDF la, para que no se desconfigure lo que les mostré de Word con los imperatives. Y ahí se lo voy a poner eh, más tarde en el chat, ok. Para, Thank you, eh, para que tengan esa información. Ok, el siguiente tema es eh, You Can't Miss It. And... Ya es la section 3. Pero antes de introducirnos a, la, a esta sección, quiero saber si alguien tiene alguna duda o pregunta sobre la plataforma de las dos primeras secciones. O si ya van más adelantados, pues que, las, que vayan más adelante. No. Acuérdense que no, pueden ir a su propio paso, no importa. Y esto puede servirles como un refuerzo. Pero no sé si han tenido algún inconveniente. Yo confundía la palabra cam con chicle y encías. <risa> Eso depende del contexto de la oración. Exactamente, es correcto, es correcto. Sí, con el nombre chewing gum, eh, por ejemplo, ahí estamos hablando de la goma, de, ahí aparece como goma. Es que de hecho, ajá, parecería como que fueran las gomas, en vez de las encías, lo que nosotros llamamos las encías. Pero sí depende del contexto. Por ejemplo, cuando se va a hablar de encías, va a ser solo gums. Ok, le iba a decir, por ejemplo, clean, clean your gums, ok, eh, keep your gums healthy. Eh, eh, alguien le puede decir, don't, uh, let's say, don't, don't chew, don't chew too much, en un, en un imperativo, don't chew too much gum. Ok, don't chew, no mastiques demasiada, 
demasiado chicle, okay? too much gum, toma demasiada goma, que aquí, aquí le decimos chicle, right? pero en otros países le llaman goma, goma de mascar. Ok. Good. Okay. All right. Any other question? Ok. Eh, otro tip que le puedo dar es que si en el día les surge alguna duda de algo que no se pudo preguntar en la clase, anótenla en un, ahí a la par de su computadora para que a la hora de la clase se recuerden y dirá, tengo esta pregunta, la pueden hacer. No importa que sea de la sección 1, ¿ok? No importa que sea de la sección 2, o sea, es siempre bueno refrescar algo que a uno se le haya escapado. All right. Thank you. Ok, Erika. Then we have the section 3. Ok, and we have... Ok, in the... Uh, remember section 1, we were talking about going to, right? Celebrations in future. Okay, affirmative, negative questions. And in this uh, section two, we have the imperatives with uh, affirmative and negative, right? Do this, don't do this, don't do that, okay? And different forms to use it. Then, in this one, uh, Jacqueline, can you please read the, the objective to start with? Be, be the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for stores in all places and excuse where you can get different things. Okay, where you can get different things. Okay, vocabulary, this is vocabulary for the stores in other places, right, where you can get different things so we're talking about stores uh, drop stores hospitals and, and places right let's see Let's get started by listening and practicing. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn vocabulary for stores and other places and discuss where you can get different things. Let's get started by listening and practicing. One. You can buy aspirin at a drugstore. Two. You can buy bread at a supermarket. Three. You can buy a dictionary at a bookstore. Four. You can buy gasoline at a gas station. Five. You can buy a sandwich at a restaurant. Six. You can buy stamps at a post office. Seven. You can buy a sweatshirt at a department store. Eight. You can buy traveler's checks at a bank. What I would like for you to do next is to practice the vocabulary that we just learned. For example, you can pay bills at a bank. You can buy shoes at a department store. After you complete this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, it seems the pictures, the images were blurry, right? So I mean, borrosa. No, no se ven, teacher. No, no se ven. Okay, but let's listen to the places. Yeah, for example, the only the listen. You can buy bread at a supermarket. Started by listening and practicing. One. 
You can buy aspirin at a drugstore. Okay, the first one we have which is a drugstore or pharmacy, right? Uh, things that we can buy in the drugstore, aspirin, right? Uh, let's say uh, medicine, vitamin, uh, toothpaste, uh, what else? Uh, Flour, okay, for the for the teeth and gum, and then sometimes some snacks. Okay, and as soon as pharmacy, you have any snacks, sodas, right, or ice cream, or energizers. Okay. Two. You can buy bread at a supermarket. Okay, you buy bread at the supermarket. You can buy the majority of the things that we need in the house, right? Most, most of the things. Okay, for example, vegetables, fruits, meat, diary, uh, poultry, la carne de aves, right? Poultry, diary, lactose, and meat in general. Um, what else? Coffee, cereals, rice, beans, uh, bread, soap, sabon, uh, right? Soap, detergent, uh, soups, so many things, right? Hand food and the stuff like that. Three. You can buy a dictionary at a bookstore. Okay, in a bookstore, buy a dictionary, buy a book, notebook, pens, pencils, uh, erasers, uh, post its. Okay. Uh, now you can also buy USB, right? Uh, one of these are memory sticks, okay, for to keep information right in your computer. A pencil colors, glue, scotch tape, a scotch tape, and stuff. Four. You can buy gasoline at a gas station. Okay, gas station, gasoline, diesel. Okay, that we five. Can. You can buy a sandwich at a restaurant. Can a restaurant food, sandwiches, uh, drinks, beverages. Six. You can buy stamps at a post office. Seven. Okay, when you go to a bus, uh, post office, eh, we don't use uh, post office very much now, but you can buy stampillas, right? Or send, que podemos hacer también eh, send uh, packages, enviar paquetes, right, por correos via post office. And you can buy a sweatshirt at a department store. Okay, for example, you can buy you know sweaters and everything at a department store. Like, eh, for example, what is the name of this one? Macy's in the United States. Okay, and then you can go and buy sweaters, shoes, pants, dresses, perfume. Department store is a store that has different departments. Department for women, department for men, department for kids, department for uh, electronics, department for sports. Okay, so that is department store. Eight. You can buy traveler's checks at a bank. What I would like okay. for you to do in the banks, travelers' checks, you can deposit your money, okay, or you can withdraw money, sacar, right, withdraw or deposit, okay. Uh, you can do like probably a uh, safe, how save money, okay, have a saving account, different activities, okay. So these are, you know, activities that you can do. Uh, at the bank or in other places. What places do you know? Or what activities do you do? For example, if you go to, um, let's say, a uh, mall or a shopping center. What activities can we do in a shopping center? 
you should go to a mall. Buying something? Mm -hmm. For example, buy something. Okay, for example, sometimes we go to we go to a mall or we go to a place and we don't have the intention to buy. We only we are only, you know, uh, looking around, right? Say team, and then we're and then de repente vemos algo que nos llama la atención y lo compramos, right? And then that is window shopping. Like a dollar city. <laughs> window shopping, correct. Ok, esto es como andar vitrineando y de repente uno con okay. Window shopping. Y a veces no se compra, pues. Ok, that is window shopping. Okay, this is what we do, and then, uh, like, and then, uh, as I said, buy something, right? Depends. Uh, also, you can go to a restaurant. Uh, you can go to the cinema if you are in the, in the mall. Go to a restaurant. Go to the cinema. Go to a supermarket if it is necessary, or just walk around. Okay, solo camino. Walk around and don't do anything. Or probably buy a snack. Comprar ahí unos eh, bocadillos, right? Eh, like a little sandwich. Eh, probably uh, ice cream. Okay, stuff like that. Okay, questions? Today. Tomorrow, eh, la práctica será de places, what to buy. Ya no vamos a trabajar en grupos. Okay, break out in a room to para practicar el vocabulario de, por ejemplo, a qué compramos si vamos a la farmacia, ¿Qué, qué compramos si vamos a tal lugar, ok. And then a, a supermarket, just to practice. Yo les voy a dar preguntas para que las hagan y utilicemos el vocabulario que se, eh, de lo que se podría comprar en diferentes lugares. All right. Ok, questions so far, so good? No. Okay, then have a very good night. That's all the time that we have for today. See you tomorrow. Have a good night and good dream, night. dream in English, okay? Good night. Okay. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Drink good coffee, night. teacher. Yes, I will. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> okay. <laughs>